We are drugged out. We are following other people's opinions. We are controlled by the media. Today it all changes. This reality has been forced upon us. It is a truth. Hey, uh, Just like when I said slavery. It is June the second, two thousand and nineteen. I like to thank you for joining me here. Right now we're taking a look at the little skyline that I can see. I can barely see it poking up over this building. But I can see it. I like it. Alright, it's getting dark. Just wanted to show you all this. This is my view. Alright. I like it. Anyways, coming up off the uh, balcony. It's my new place. I've been telling y'all about it. I had to get my own place and stuff. Here it is. You want the tour? There it is. <laughs> That's pretty much the tour. Like, uh, it's not, it's a studio apartment, right? It's kind of big, a little bit spacious and stuff. You know, I got room to play or whatever, you know, but you know, this is where it is. This is where it goes now. Um, got the kitchen area. It's not very lit yet. Got some water bottles, got some gasoline for no reason. Actually, it is a reason it's for this bike. All right, got a bike out here. I, I believe I have some outside storage too, but I gotta get a lock for that and stuff, so until then, I'll put it right there. And I got another bike, and this one I gotta pump my legs, all right, to get to places, okay? Got this stuff. I wanna just, you know, give y'all, cause I know some people are interested. All right, so this is what I'm working with. You might say, oh man, there ain't no furniture in here. What are you doing? How are you living like this? Eh, I'm not too concerned about it. I've been moving around a number of times over this past few years. And y'all, trust me when I tell you, the furniture just comes to you. Especially if you live in America. Like, furniture, we're, we're um, swimming in furniture. Some people make their whole careers. I don't know about y'all, but there's plenty of Mexicans that make their own careers in uh san antonio texas just by picking up people's furniture like that they don't want all right we got all sort of stuff so i'm gonna accumulate it and stuff like that but until then i sit on this ball and stuff and i like it all right yeah i wanted to give you an introduction to what it is that um you know how, how i'm living and stuff hold on one second because i know some people be curious and i have been alluding to that hey, you know, I gotta get out of here and there's all sort of stuff that I had to do. And you know, I thank the Lord, somehow it all got done. I got this apartment, I got a motorbike I can zip around on, you know. Gotta be smart with it, you know, so I don't get it stolen up in here. But I got a motorbike, I got an apartment, I got a second job, you know, I'm thinking about a third job, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how you got to get it here in San Antonio, Texas. I mean, if you want to do your own thing and you pay child support and you have student loans and stuff, you, you got to get it how you live, all right? And I want to I want to show y'all out there, for anybody out there, you know, especially the youngsters, uh, to show you that you could do it. And chances are you're going to have to do it. There's plenty of reasons why I had to get out again. I had to, all right? Plenty of reasons, all right? Uh, an unlimited amount of reasons, but one that comes to my mind, and I know a lot of people who come to this channel, um, you know, they could feel me, is that if I kept saying the things that I'm saying, the things that I just, you know, that we talk about, if I were to keep saying those things in and around my family, my blood family, uh, they would call the authorities and send me to jail. It's only a matter of time, all right? They're called thought crimes. You're not supposed to think stuff. You're not supposed to support Trump, all right? Because that's racist, all right? And you're a bigot and you're a homophobe and all this Islamophobe and all this stuff. So you can't, and that's the thing, it's hard for me to, to have an internet channel without having the authorities called on me. Now, the thing is, uh, that's only going to increase and increase. A family is a wonderful thing. Uh, it's the, it's the best thing. It's also a dangerous thing. It's also something that, you know, you, it's just not worth it. Pretty much. Unless, you know, everybody is on the same page. And unless everybody can get along together and stuff. And we're a 
balls deep in the tribulation, so a lot of people are going to see these rifts and stuff, man. You may have to get two jobs. You may have to get three jobs and stuff. It's tough out there, but here's the thing. Now that we got this all set up, I, I believe we'll have some time to do what it is that we like to do and stuff, you know. Um, I can't live stream yet because I don't have the internet hooked up here. You know what I'm saying? I think there's a Wi-Fi connection. I got to go look for it. But either way, they, I had to get outside and stuff like that. So maybe eventually I get an internet um, hookup inside the apartment. And then we can live stream. But until then, we can't live stream, even though I would love to do so. All right? But just to get out of here, we don't want to make this a long video. Um, we're here to do what we what we like to do and stuff. And that is come together and give each other information. All right? I don't, I don't get on the internet or on this channel and stuff to show y'all some stuff that you couldn't find on your own. I know that you could find it on your own. Y'all are all very smart. All right. And we all disagree on all sorts of things. We all have opinions and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just here to bounce ideas off of you. Maybe you thought of these things. Maybe you haven't yet thought of these things and together we can grow. All right. I'm not here to become a celebrity, to be all popular. I'm here to share some information. I'm here for y'all. All y'all with that information, that forbidden information, the kind of information you see on Infowars.com, Eurowars.com and stuff like that, Newswars.com, all that sort of information, that's what we're here to do, all right? So that being said, of course, Parkland, uh, you know what I'm saying, is all messed up. I don't care. If nobody killed, got killed, I don't care. If everybody got killed, uh, I don't care. If I got killed over at Parkland, it doesn't matter. Everybody's lying. All right? And the internet knows this, all right? The internet makes fun of David Hogg on a daily basis over and over and over again into infinity. All right? And all these new mass shootings or this and that, there was just a Virginia Beast one. Don't nobody buy it. Don't nobody buy it. And here's the thing. This is all coming to a head. All right. You think we're going to get out of this whole Donald Trump presidency and roll on to the next president and everybody's just going to live all kumbaya? No, that's not going to happen. All right. We would like to make America great. We would like to have some prosperity and stuff like that. But believe it or not, there's some damn dirty vampires. Right. And they can't stop, they won't stop, they'll never stop, they'll never ever stop until you are under their thumb. You know what I'm saying? We like to think of a time that we can we can work and work and work and, and then sometime we'll, we'll be able to rest and we'll be able to uh, just be at ease. It's not going to happen, right? Because these people ain't going to stop. All right? These people are desperate. These people are outside of their minds. They're just uh, they're the worst they're they're deplorable as hillary clinton likes to say she's deplorable right they're not going to stop they need to go to prison either that or they're going to put us in prison there's no three ways about it and i appreciate all y'all out there and i'll holler at y'all out there of course i got these videos coming and i appreciate y'all it is june the 2nd uh 2019 which turns now to the Temple of Time in Coral Springs. It's a place that was created for people to express their thoughts and leave prayers for the victims. And Local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly is on that scene this midday. Trent. Yeah, Laren and Janice, such an emotional morning out here as we have seen so many people Coming out here to the Temple of Time, they are leaving behind special heartfelt messages on some wooden squares before then leaving them inside the temple. And you can see a pretty large group gathered out here now coming to take this site in before this temple is set on fire in what the creator hopes is a symbolic way to burn away this community's grief. Oh, I'm just so moved. I, I really, I could cry. One by one, members of the community coming out to remember and reflect. It's incredible. Underneath this 35-foot temple made entirely of wood. 
It is so beautiful and powerful and, you know, made with love and feelings. The so-called Temple of Time, built over the last two weeks, is the idea of world-renowned artist David Best. The structure now providing people with a place to channel their grief and leave behind a heartfelt message one year after experiencing unimaginable loss. But the temple, only temporary, as Best plans to burn his creation this coming May. A symbolic sacrifice, a symbolic sacrifice, a symbolic sacrifice for what this community has been through. Burning really is like a purification ritual. Burning really is like a purification ritual. Purification ritual. Purification ritual. So, in a, in a ritual way, we can release the pain, the grief, the pain, the pain. We can release the pain, the grief. Now we should note that this temple will remain standing through at least May. That's when the creator of this temp temple plans to carry out that symbolic burn for this community that clearly is still trying to heal from those senseless events. Those senseless events. Those senseless events. That's the latest here in Coral Springs. Trent Kelly, Local 10 News. A symbolic sacrifice, a symbolic sacrifice, a symbolic sacrifice for what this community has been through. Burning really is like a purification ritual. Burning really is like a purification ritual. Purification ritual. Purification ritual. So, in a, in a ritual way, we can release the pain, the grief, the pain, the pain. We can release the pain.